When a low-cost machine demonstrated that it could outsmart a massive one, the battlefield in Ukraine underwent a significant shift. At that very time, a very inexpensive gadget that was only worth $25,000 began to destroy weapons that had cost Russia millions of dollars. It astonished the generals. The plans were altered as a result. It compelled Moscow to reconsider each and every mile of the front line. In a modern battle, this was the kind of innovation that nobody anticipated would be the most successful. On the other hand, it did. Additionally, it continues to do so each and every day. The story starts off with a straightforward concept. It was clear to Ukraine that it did not have to compete with Russia in terms of tank-to-tank -tank or missile-to-missile -missile combat. It merely required something more intelligent. Something is more rapid, one that is less expensive, something that provided forces with the ability to strike far, strike hard, and move on before Russia ever had a chance to comprehend what had taken place. This concept resulted in the creation of a tool that eventually became one of the most significant weapons used throughout the whole fight. There is a drone that can demolish armor costing millions of dollars, yet it costs less than an old car. There was a drone that caused Russian troops to retreat, a drone that compelled Russian leaders to conceal themselves, flee, and reevaluate their entire strategy. Heavy firepower has always been Russia's primary weapon. This is the big guns. Large tanks are used, large missiles. The Ukraine would never be able to compete on scale, but this very inexpensive weapon, which cost $25,000, leveled the playing field. Suddenly, tanks that had been manufactured in factories for tens of millions of dollars powered equipment that had been constructed in modest workshops. A buzzing sound that preceded an explosion was heard by infantry troops that had previously marched with confidence. These soldiers immediately hunched low and prayed that they would not hear the sound. The rhythm of the fight was completely altered by this inexpensive weapon. It wasn't just the cost of the item. This was due to the adaptability. That was the intelligence that was behind it. Engineers from Ukraine constructed it in a short amount of time, put it through its paces in actual warfare, made improvements to it, and then sent it back out into the world. The drone improved its intelligence on a weekly basis. It acquired new capabilities on a monthly basis. It was impossible for Russia to keep up at that speed. Aged Soviet systems moved at a snail's pace. The pace of innovation in Ukraine was lightning in speed. It was then that another event took place. Equipment was not the only thing that the drones destroyed. The confidence of the Russians was broken. Despite the fact that a tank crew is aware that they could be hit by a missile, they do not anticipate that a drone that costs $25,000 will locate them hiding behind trees, in trenches, or even within a camouflaged bunker. It was then when soldiers began abandoning their cars. Because crews were too afraid to step into tanks, they were left sitting around doing nothing. As a result of drones constantly hovering in the skies, monitoring, waiting, and getting ready to strike, Russian armored assaults were rendered ineffective. And when the Ukraine paired these drones with long-range intelligence, the anxiety that was already present became even more intense. The Russian objectives that were located far behind the lines suddenly became vulnerable. The automobile of the commander, one of the munitions trucks, storage facility for fuel. It is a radar system. The inexpensive machines that were swarming around the precious locations were unable to be stopped by even the air defenses that were supposed to defend them. The battlefield evolved into a location where the cost of the combat was no longer relevant. The only things that counted were speed, accuracy, and creation. Russia entered a state of terror as a result of this transition. They immediately began digging ditches in every open area. Above the trucks, they constructed nets on top of the tanks. They welded cages together. They erected metal roofs over command stations to protect them. But there was no stopping the drones. They arrived during the daytime hours. They arrived in the evening. It was a low point. They came in a high. They had arrived in groups. They arrived by themselves. In front of them, the Russian fortifications appeared to be outdated and sluggish. And Putin's paranoia erupted as Ukraine continued to strengthen its drone capabilities. When the Russian president was away from the battlefield, the same low-cost inventions that were responsible for breaking Russian armor at the front also posed a threat to him. His decision to conceal himself was prompted by the long-range variants of these drones. They forced him to switch offices on multiple occasions. The strong air defense systems that surrounded his dwellings were a requirement that they imposed on him. The conflict was not the only thing that these machines altered. They brought about a psychological shift in the leader of Russia. There was widespread dread even within the Kremlin. Regarding the reach of drones, advisors muttered, 
Intelligence officers issued a warning regarding attacks that were unexpected. Putin's response was to establish fictitious offices. There are three quite similar rooms located in three distinct cities. The same walls, the same tables are used, door handles are the same. He utilized them to bewilder observers from other countries, to conceal his movements, and to prevent being targeted by attacks. The paranoia that emerged as a result of the same advances that provided Ukraine with an advantage was the result. The weapon that cost $25,000 was not just effective against tanks. It struck the very heart of the Russian policy. There was more to Ukraine than that. They developed drones with a greater range which were capable of flying for up to 1,600 kilometers. In the center of Moscow, these drones were able to reach. They broke into industries. They struck the airfields. They brought down pricey bombers that were parked on runways. It was at these fuel depots that they were able to supply Russian forces. Each strike resulted in a few thousand dollars being lost by Ukraine. Every single loss resulted in millions of dollars for Russia. And Russia was completely unprepared to deal with this new form of warfare. Moscow's commanding officers came to the realization that this low-cost weapon could monitor them wherever. Certain buildings were no longer utilized by Russian service members. A few people departed from the front. Some people gave orders for decoys to conceal their true whereabouts. Each day, some people modified their routes. As a result of the fear of drones that cost less than a military uniform, war turned into a shadow game. In response to the increasing capabilities of the drones, the Ukraine began to integrate artificial intelligence into operation. Because of these modifications, the little robots were able to fly without the use of GPS. Jamming could be avoided by them. Movement could be monitored by them. Even when electronic warfare was used to try to stop them, they were still able to hit their objectives. The most advanced defense systems in Russia suddenly appeared to be unreliable. The unmanned aerial vehicles continued to sneak in, locate vulnerable areas, and strike with pinpoint accuracy. Every time a low-cost drone successfully hit a target, Russia increased the amount of money it spent to defend its territory. The conflict escalated into a resource war that Russia was unable to win. On an hourly basis, even Russian soldiers who were close to the front lines felt the pressure. They described a buzzing sound that never stopped in the sky. Apparently, it never came to an end. Drones did not require any rest at all. They were not in need of food. No exhaustion set in for them. They did not stop flying. Not a single attack was made. Everything was documented by them. On the front lines, the conflict transformed into a battlefield, and the side that possessed more inventiveness emerged victorious. In addition, Ukraine employed its creative potential as a weapon. Russia failed to see the potential of these small drones in the initial months. They were referred to as toys. They found them to be amusing. The laughter, however, turned into horror. As a result, dread changed into success. The Russian tanks caught fire. There was an explosion at a Russian base those in Russian command hid. In addition, the weapon that cost $25,000 gained a reputation that was not only widespread but also widespread. Officials from NATO began investigating technologies developed in Ukraine. European militaries began placing orders for models that were comparable countries, came to the realization that tanks will not be the sole deciding factor in future battles. Drones that are able to learn, adapt, and strike quickly would serve as the decision makers. A real-time laboratory for the study of modern warfare was created in Ukraine. Additionally, each and every low-cost strike ushered in a new era of military thinking. Technology was able to bring a tiny country and a huge country back into equilibrium, and the entire world witnessed this. In place of money, Ukraine relied on its intelligence. They chose to focus on speed rather than size, and each moment of accomplishment sparked fresh concepts. Using laptops and soldering irons, engineers worked in cramped rooms with little space. In order to assist builders in improving plans, soldiers uploaded videos from the front lines. Money was contributed by civilians in order to construct more. It evolved into a national activity that brought everyone together. A sign of inventiveness and defiance, the weapon that cost $25,000 became a symbol of both. In an effort to counter it, Russia attempted to use jamming systems. The drones of Ukraine were updated to be immune to jamming. A Russian attempt was made to shoot them down. Aviation routes in Ukraine were enhanced. Russian efforts were made to arm automobiles. The explosives in Ukraine were improved. As a result, it became a competition of creative abilities. And when it comes to bureaucracy, ingenuity is usually victorious. Then, a new generation of drones emerged. Less expensive, it is quicker, more intelligent, 
A few of them are priced at less than $10,000. Some of them carried warheads that were capable of destroying bunkers. Some flew in large groups. They overpowered the defenses used. Radars were deceived by them. The Russian government was compelled to expend additional missiles in an effort to halt them. The price of each of those missiles is in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Putting a stop to Russian missiles was not necessary for Ukraine. The only thing they needed to do was develop weapons that would force Russia to throw them away. Because of this mismatch, Russia's resources were depleted. It made logistics more difficult. It revealed significant holes in the planning. It compelled commanders to employ strategies that were outmoded. Additionally, it demonstrated to the globe that inventiveness may triumph over brute might. There is something more profound hiding behind this alteration of the battlefield. A change in one's personality. Armed forces in Russia no longer have faith in their armor. Their shelters are no longer trustworthy to them. They no longer have faith in their higher-up instructions. Even Putin does not have faith in his own employees anymore. In walled compounds, he conceals himself. His movements are covert. For the purpose of avoiding being targeted, he destroys his own properties. His paranoia was a direct result of the same breakthrough that provided hope to Ukraine. The use of these drones shown that one's tank count is no longer a factor in combat. Whoever has more ideas is the one who wins. Who can adjust more quickly? Who is able to come up with something original under pressure? It was done by Ukraine. Neither did Russia. Along with that, a tool that cost $25,000 became evidence of this imbalance. The low-cost weapon completely altered the situation. The strategy was altered. It altered the plan. It brought about a change in morale. The mentality of the soldiers was altered as a result. As a result, the movement of commanders was altered. The security of Putin personally was altered as a result. It started to be seen as a picture of contemporary combat. This is a representation of how humble implements may yield enormous outcomes. This is the tale of a machine that was so low-tech that it managed to outwit a giant. The tale of how intelligence triumphed against sheer power. The tale of how innovation provided Ukraine with the opportunity to have a strong position. The conflict is still going on, and the drones must continue to fly. And so long as they continue to do so, the battlefield will continue to evolve. And the pressure that this revolution of $25,000 will continue to exert on Russia will continue to be felt.